Moving now to a story you'll only hear on News Channel 3. A controversial moment in Kalamazoo County after families who have loved ones buried at a local cemetery contacted our Hannah Knowles about what they're calling mistreatment of grave sites. She joins us live outside Maple Grove Cemetery this morning. Hannah, a new ordinance there led to mounds of trash bags full of items placed on graves. Good morning here at Maple Grove Cemetery. There are two signs that clearly state ground rules will be enforced starting May 1st, 2021. It also says that the township has the right to remove any items from the grave sites that are not in compliance with the ordinance. But many families who have loved ones buried here say throwing their items in the trash was not the right way to do it. If you look all over the cemetery, a lot of these graves are missing flowers. They had a bunch of flowers over there on that one. There was a bunch of stuff, pots and plants on the other side, all gone. I don't understand. Helen Eaton lost her son, Alan, on February 17th, 2009, when he was hit and killed by an Amtrak train. It feels like he, he's dying again, over and over again in my heart right now. Alan was only 17 years old. <laughs> Since then, she spends her days here, remembering her son. This is a healing process for us. This is our way to grieve for our children, our loved ones. The only place she says she still feels close to him. And I thought that was the most hardest time in the world for me, but coming here and seeing what they did. <laughs> this like part of me is gone again. How could they do that to a mother who's still grieving her child? Comstock Township Clerk Nicole Buchamp says the township tried to communicate the changes ahead of this weekend's cleanup. So we did send a postcard to all the addresses that we had on file for cemetery plot owners. We posted on our Facebook page. We posted on our website. We included it in our um, information in our newsletter. She says they knew this would be hard for families, but that it was time to take action. It's really difficult to maintain our grave sites. If there's a lot of items around uh, around the graves, we can't mow, we can't weed. Uh, we've had a lot of complaints from residents about the state of our cemetery. I understand that for the people who, who weren't aware we were doing this, it can be a shock and we are sensitive to people grieving and how it must feel to go to the cemetery and see the items gone. They totally broke all of this. Items Eaton says can never be replaced. You said groundkeeping? You didn't even finish cutting any of these weeds. There's dirt and grime all over his, his monument. I don't understand. How is that making it better? And if you have a loved one buried here, Comstock officials say that they did try to save the items they removed from the grave sites and they're holding them for people to come claim. If you think you might be missing something from a grave site, you can call the number on your screens now. That's 269-381-2360. They tell me they'll only hold the items for about six months. Reporting in Kalamazoo County, Hannah Knowles, News Channel 3. In regards to the cleanup, Comstock officials tell us that there will be a town hall meeting today at noon. This will be at King Highway inside the Charter Township of Comstock offices. Officials say they plan to hear from residents both in favor and upset over these changes.